you have to align your gift with your calling. And I knew from a young age that I was called to preach. I started teaching at 12, 14 years old, all through my teenage years, and then preaching all over the place, and there was fruit. So I knew that to preach, I had to be an evangelist or a pastor. But I've always enjoyed pastoring because you can follow through with your gift and you can follow up on people. Uh, we've been ministering. In fact, our vision here is Fountain of Truth is a place where God transforms your pain into His purpose. So that's really my story in pastoring. Wow, uh, prepare more, pray more. I would, I would do things in the secret room, in the closet, behind the closed doors. I would take more time there than trying to run around all over the place. And I would tell me to respect everyone, but don't fear anyone. I have had failures in my life, mm, failures that produce fruit. I remember a book by Maxwell that says, failing forward. And when you're down there, when you fall, pick something up. I think we can learn. I haven't had huge failures because things that have happened to me aren't failures, they're just things that happen to me. But I think I've had small failures where I've, I've made mistakes maybe in my, in my home with my family, not paying enough attention to them when they were small, and then trying to recoup that later on in the year. I would say that that's my biggest one. Uh, spending more time, more quality time with my family when they were young. Well, of course, spiritually, it's the grace of God. It has to be, but we all have the grace of God. God loves us all, but why aren't some kept and why are others kept? It's got to be drive. You have to have drive to move forward in all seasons. When you're climbing a mountain, when you're going down a valley, when you're having a great time, when you're weeping more than you're laughing, when you're surrounded with friends or by friends or you're, you're abandoned by friends, whatever the case is, uh, God didn't promise us a beautiful rose garden or, you know, a, a path with no obstacles. If, if something's in front of you, you, you break it, you jump it, you go around it, you go through it, but, but you go forward. And I think God likes that tenacity. You know, it says, I hated Esau and I loved Jacob, and, and Jacob was a thief, but there was something in him that, that made God say, wow, and we need that drive to, to move forward all the time, day and night, no matter what. Well, people aren't as obedient as they used to be uh, 25 or 30 years ago. The pastor said uh, pretty much covered everything. Now they Google answers and they have their own mind and you're just another option for them. Even the, the preaching on Sundays, some people come to church, they've already watched two services and that night they're gonna watch two more preachers. So you're competing with your own congregation. That's one thing. Um, the other thing is just a postmodernism that we're living in right now. The new, the new cultures, and especially a man my age, 60 years old, I've got to keep up with these kids that are, that are 20 and 30 and have all these ideas and were born with iPhones in their noses and, and here we are learning what they already know. Right, you have to change. Uh, in fact, I, I'll use a biblical illustration and I say this, many of you would have killed Isaac. And you say, why would I kill Isaac? And the, the answer is very simple, because God told you so. And when you're about to bring down the knife on his neck and the angel said, don't kill him, you would have turned around and rebuked the devil. But it was God. God, and we need to listen to God when he's speaking now, not what he said uh, yesterday or 20 years ago. So we need to be where God is now, not where he was. And that's where many men my age have problems with that because say God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, he is, but the world isn't. And the way we package things, has to be different. Same gospel, but we have to package it different. Or else you can stay there with, uh, with uh, your old traditions and stay there uh, being real holy, <laughs> but uh, not moving forward. We can be holy and move forward at the same time. Ask me anything you want about my family, my life, my pastorship, my international ministry, anything that you want, and I'll answer your questions. God bless you.